Once you have a few solids in your drawing, you'll want to join them together to make a more complex body. One way to do this is with Boolean operations. Boolean operations are named after the mathematician who first figured them out, and BricsCAD provides three of them. One is union, which joins two or more solids together. Then there's subtract, which is useful for making holes because it removes one solid from another, such as the cylinders from the box. And then finally there's intersect, which uh, gives the result of removing everything that isn't in common with two intersecting solids, such as this cut apple shape. To show how booleans work, we're going to build this tower as if it's made from wooden blocks. Start BricsCAD with a modeling mode template, such as a mechanical, imperial, open it, use the pan command to move the UCS into the corner. Now the first thing we have is a tower, and I'm going to build the rectangular part using the box command. I'm going to make sure I have um, dynamic dimensioning turned on. Snap could well help as well. Let's draw a base of 3 inches by 3 inches, and any sort of height tall, so there's a 9 inch height tall. There's the uh, base of the tower. For the peak point, we're going to uh, use the pyramid command. I suggest you turn off dynamic UCS to make it easier to place it. Pyramid, and I'm going to use the edge option, that's E. Pick two corners that represent the edge, and you can see that the pyramid nicely fits the top, and then give it some height. Height isn't too crucial, and there we go. We can use the union command to make these two a single solid. A complex solid is called a body. So I'll type in the union command. And it asks, select ACES objects to union. And we can go all because we want both of them. And then press enter to the uh, final selection prompt. Okay, so this is a, now a single object. When you select, the entire body is highlighted, indicating BricsCAD understands it to be a single object. The second most common operation with solids is to make holes in them, and the hole for this tower is going to look like an arch. The arch shape is made from a combination of a cylinder and a box. First I'm going to turn on dynamic UCS, and then I'll start the cylinder command. Stick it about here, about that radius, and now drag it through all the way through. Later we'll remove it to create the hole, but next I want to add the box to make the rectangular part of the arch. So I'll use the box command. I'll we'll zoom in for a better look, and I'll make uh, one pick here, and the other one something like so, and then drag it through as well. Okay, so we have the arch shape, we just need to remove it. To do that, use the subtract command. And then it says, select ACES object to subtract from. So that's the part that's going to remain, so I'll select the tower. Press enter for the next selection prompt. And then it says select ACES objects to subtract. These are the ones that will be removed. So I'm going to choose the box and the cylinder. Press enter. There is your nice clean archway cut through. And the zoom extends lets us see the entire tower. And then there's the least used of the Boolean operations called intersect. It, uh, extracts what's in common of two solids. So here I've got a sphere intersecting with a box. So let's apply the intersect command. It says select objects to intersect and here we can just select all of them. Press enter. And then what's left is what was in common of the two. So it's kind of looks like a, a slice of orange or apple. 